Rick Danger's dropping us his latest 400 gigabyte image. As you see here, nice Epic Noir edited theme. It comes pre overclocked on a recent version of Raspberry Pi. It's his own personal image, not on a two play base anymore. Um, upping it to 400 gigabytes, adding more games and more things. And I'm gonna show you why this one is definitely one to check out. Now, while it only boasts about just shy of 3,500 games, He's gone through and in each system he's deliberately chosen the best of the best games or games you should really play so there's not going to be a lot of junk here there's not a lot of bloat it's very much straight down to the point a ready set image made by a great image creator now a um, couple of things there is one small fix i'll be showing you how to do in the video for nintendo 64 and speaking of nintendo 64 it's so funny he got so much hate when i first started reviewing his image like why no nintendo 64 and everyone got, there's a, quite a few comments about this. So look, he finally has it added 20 games. Um, and uh, th this is, like I said, this is his personal image. And he actually went through each particular game, like for example, like Pac-Man or uh, Metal Slug or all these games that have large franchises where sometimes the game is just ported over to the other system. What he's done is he's gone in and he's only taken the port in which he thinks is the best version for you. So instead of having 10 Pac-Mans, especially when you go over here to the collections and you click on like, for example, beat-em-ups, it's only gonna have the best versions of the beat-em-ups. Now, Altered Beast, I guess he couldn't choose, he, ha he included both of them. A digital frontier. I tried to picture clusters of information as they move through the computer. So on first boot, you'll see that boot up screen and it'll flash your screen. It'll, it'll seem like it almost crashes, but it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to restart, resize your uh, your image. It's pie shrunk. It'll fit on most 400 gigabyte SD cards. It is a little larger of a download, but hey, unlike the image I just reviewed, it does have you know over 200 PlayStation games with all the music included on them. So his what are his favorite games? Here, let's start with that. Some of his favorite games, some really good you know, classic games on here. I've noticed a lot older games. There's only like one or two Dreamcast games in his um, favorites. Uh, last played, the combination of what he's played and I've played is still on the image. Uh, 3DO, you know, some of these, there's a few games for this system and he even mentioned it on his video and I'll link his video in the description. They just don't run well. There's some audio glitching. Uh, it just doesn't make the game fun. 203 Amiga games, 40 Amiga 1200 games, 15 Amiga CD games. Amstrad CPC 40 games and look at this you get the image and all the video snaps This is overclock to start with it's a moderate overclock nothing too crazy I'm running you know the dual fan armor case that many of you have seen before 400 arcade games uh, And so it's it's running this fine. I'm not having any over underclocking or or or, or heating issues at all Atari 2675 720, 831. A lot of people don't include 800. Atari Lynx 25, Commodore 64 156, ColecoVision uh, 30, not 130. And again, just kind of the best of the best here. Dreamcast 175 games. So I'll go ahead and go through these. And a lot of this is running on uh, Redream. While this is going down, I want to read some of his notes. You know, he said, if you ever want, you know, he even mentioned this, and a lot of image creators say this, which is don't update your image. Like, just leave it as is. When you start updating emulators and things, it breaks stuff. So don't break it. Uh, I'll be playing Crazy Taxi later on this video. Dreamcast runs great on the Raspberry Pi 4, especially Overclock, awesome. It's PSP and, and, and that where you'll start seeing some, you know, issues. Fam Famicom 25. Family Disk System, 25. Game & Watch, 59. He does add another system that a lot of people don't add, which is the Game Boy, um, Super Game Boy. Remember, that was like that adapter you can put with your Super Nintendo. Game Boy Advance, 1,000 games. Does have Advance Wars 1 and 2, Final Fantasy, Mario Kart, Mega Man, Pokemons, Sonic Advanced, Super Mario Advanced, Tony Hawk 2, 3, and 5. I don't think I've ever played the, the Game Boy version. Uh. Okay. Going over to Game Boy Color, you got 25. 
Master System, you got 144, Mega Drive, 365. A lot of great games for the Genesis and the... Uh, I wonder which. I wonder if he left both zombies in my neighbors. MSX-10, MSX-220, N64 here, the 20. And I can tell you all these work on the Raspberry Pi. Rogue Squadron, mm, it works. I guess overclocking, it's a lot better. See, I would add, you know, Micro Machines, great game. Um, I know there's quite a few other, and uh, Super Mario uh, Kart, okay, he didn't include it. Cool. Zelda's run good. There's a couple of the wrestling games that work. Okay. Neo Geo, 101. It's a lot of them. And then he has Neo Geo CD. I guess no Neo Geo CD. No. Okay. That's fine. NES, 200. Neo Geo Pocket Color, 20. MS-DOS, 43. Let's see what he got here. There's also Commander Keen. All the Commander Kings. Crystal Caves, great game. I remember this game. Nice. Duke Nukem's Jazz the Jack Rabbit, Monster Bash, Star Wars X Wing, The Oregon Trail, yeah, yeah, Warcraft 1 and 2, Dabu. PC Engine 70 games, PC Engine CD 50, that's quite a bit. Ports, so the Commander Genius, I think, has like all the. All the Commander Keens in it. Mr. Boom, Prince of Persia, Super Mario, and Ultimate Doom. Super Mario War. So here's where I kind of like, you know, you really have to mess with the emulator. By the way, select is the default emulator key to start with a lot of these games. With uh, Dreamcast and PSP, it'll be your select if you're running an Xbox 360 controller. And, um, for example, Tekken... Uh, Metal Gear Solid and God of War and even Daxter for that matter like you really got to set your your resolution low for you to be able to run these games well like with a you know unless you mind a little bit of tearing a little bit of lag so now we went into PlayStation here's where a lot of your space is being used 255 PlayStation games so while I'm scrolling through these games I'll, I'll read a little bit more about this image and do some little Details. So no bezel projects. I didn't notice it on here. It's not installed. It might be installed. I didn't see the script. Maybe it's installed. There's no like menu item. I haven't checked like the back end, the file system. But um, you know, he says they're great, but it's just a little distracting. So um, a lot of these games. I believe he keeps a lot of these games in four three. You know, he doesn't stretch the games out uh, unless the system was, uh, you know, made to do that natively. Uh, now. Epic New Art modified, you know, he he's you know, he does a lot of photoshopping and stuff, although it's not his image to begin with. He gives uh credit to um the image creator who's I can never pronounce it, the image creator's name. It's like Chiquela, Chiquala, whatever. Um if you're looking for him, you can you can find him under the retro uh pie themes. It's on the main theme one, the main themes list. Like I said, it is overclocked. Oh, he does he does give you instructions if you go to Arcade Punk's website or on his video, he gave you instructions that he has gotten this to work on an SSD. There is a couple of little things you have to do in terminal uh, or command line or whatever you want to call it that you uh, can uh, that you can run to get this to just go on a 400 gigabyte SSD. Scum VM, over 105 games. That's quite a Scum VM list. Sega 32X, you got 15 games. Sega CD, you got 40 games. So uh, those of you looking for an easy SSD image, look no further. Super Famicom 81, SG 1015, Super Game Boy 25. SNES, it's a cool photo of Zelda. Sixty-eight thousand sharp twenty, hundred thirty-one Z Spectrum does have Cody ready for you. There's your options, and then here's your collection. You got actions, adventure, uh, action adventure, adventure, beat 'em ups, fighting, platformers, 
puzzle games, racing games, RPG games, shoot 'em ups, simulation style games, sports games, strategy games, and then back to all games. If you want to turn off those, it's easy. You just go into game collections over here and you can undo the 13 custom settings and then UI settings. There's your theme. It's the easiest themes epic master it looks like it's the only theme on here and there you go let's go ahead and check out some games and while we're checking out the games i'll give you my final thoughts so you notice how it's in the lower left corner here that's not good so we'll go back we'll go out we need to go to the options menu there we go options and we're going to run command configuration he said he had this disabled by default. Let's see what happens. It is disabled, so let's enable it. Okay, that first one. And then let's go ahead and exit. Now we go back to Nintendo 64, pick up a game, and press A as we launch the game, which should allow us to get into the <coughs> cancel. Should allow you this screen. You go down to select default video mode, Okay, let's try that. Now let's try launching it. <laughs> so this is the Rick Dangers Pure Edition. And pure it is. Like, you know, a fresh install of Raspberry Pi. Uh, not all the bells and the whistles. Just a really clean cut. You know, going for performance and ROMs. And not really messing with any of the fluff. No extra scripts. No background music. No bezels. No loading screens. It just play the game, you know, fast scrolling, easy, fast boot up. Um, let's just focus on the games here. Let's get away from all the other stuff. So it's to me, it's like having a matte black Tesla, you know, like no gloss, just nice flat black sleeper. And you know, it does everything you want it to do. And it's got all the best of the best, but nothing else, just that. No, no LEDs, no RGB, no, no big rims. Just really sleek sleeper. You would never know what was underneath the hood at first glance. But when you get into it, it's a nice, well oiled machine. Well, I guess no oil with the Tesla, huh? It's a well, well charged machine. Okay. <laughs> um, so, with that said, A from him, uh, we've actually seen quite a few like ready set images, purpose built images, uh, both from Rick. Um, he even mentions the Spyro image. He gave a shout out to that image. So if you already have that image, it sounds like you know he's he's all for that image. It's a great image to be using. So it might not be worth an upgrade for for some people, but um, I have to commend him on his work. It's really great. He's always pushing the limit, and I love his take on this to really dive deep into the ROMs and the games and purpose built, looking at each individual system. Not many people do that kind of detail. So with that, it's worth. You know, checking out it's worth this review and it's worth a very high grade um i'm digging it a lot i love you know that i can hit like select on my controller let's see does it have any of the other you, you know and i know that if i choose any of these games here i'm in screen savers right now by hitting select and if i launch any of these games i know i'll probably have a pretty good time so knowing that um i guess you can't go back once you pass a screen saver you know, knowing that, I know that I'm going to have some fun. And uh, that's pretty cool. Grand Theft Auto is on there. A lot of good stuff. So, um, everything from all this artwork you're seeing here to... It's just no no flood. No, you know, not too many scripts. Not a lot of things going on. It runs really smooth. Um, look at that. Look at, I love this theme, too. It gets nostalgic. It's a very nostalgic build. And I, I've talked to him before on... on Facebook, you know, through through messaging and stuff, and he's always kind of like, oh, you should really play this game, or oh, have you seen this version of the game? So I can tell that he's really very much into the games themselves and the history that they represent. And this is this is a you know this is like buying one of those coffee table books that uh, give you a good rundown of what it was like in the '80s, the '90s, and 2000s, and. Uh, that's awesome. That's really cool. So, um, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Like I said, I can recommend it. I showed you pretty much all the all the little quirks and, and features, and I'm sure there's a lot I'm missing. So it's probably worth checking out. So that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you.